Hi everybody, this is Siti Readings and this reading is going to be for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that will help for you Pisces for the month of December. Check out the link in the description box, it's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you, what are the coming up energies for you, general advice for you advice from the universe uh what are the angel answers saying for you so a lot of information in that reading to check it out it is going to be linked below if you're interested you can purchase now let's see what messages do we have for pisces for the month of december pisces for the month of December. Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Pisces, what's up? What's up? I think you are just in that energy where you're like, you know, when you're like, I'm better off single. I don't want to be dealing with this crap. You know, I feel like some situation has burdened you uh, way too much. Even though on the outside, you might be seeming to be very focused on your work, your money. But on the inside, I feel like you're tired of something, Pisces. There's that burden that you could still be carrying. Um, whatever that might be, I feel like there's a lot that you're trying to figure out in your life by yourself. Um, I see a lot of you have separated yourself from a situation as well, okay? But it's very much that I'm happily single right now. I need to work on myself kind of an energy. You know, I'm working on my independence. I'm working on things that make me happy. I'm working on me kind of an energy that I get here for you. We have the Knight of Wands and the Hangman. So I feel like Pisces, the situation here between you and somebody has been very stuck. And I feel like it's majorly because of how this person comes across. Uh, this is somebody who shows, um, or maybe, I mean, this person does have passion for you, but Pisces, they have a hard time keeping up with what they say, I think. And right now you could be taking a break. For some of you, you're, you're kind of like withdrawing from the situation as well. For some of you, I think you're pulling a them on them kind of an energy. So it is, um, it is you mirroring their behavior right now, but I feel like you won't be able to because the, the person that you're dealing with has been very sneaky. Um, I think you'll still be a bit more mature than that. Uh, with the hangman and the star energy, this to me looks like Pisces. You're, you're definitely healing yourself. You're healing your heart. Um, I, I don't know why this just came in my mind, but some of you could be having a hard time sleeping or something's sometimes there's a thought or a certain situation keeping you up but it almost looks like Pisces you're emotionally withdrawing from a situation it almost looks like <sighs> there's a lot of that energy of you thinking there's not much I can do to save the situation here so why even bother you know I'll just leave for a lot of you I feel like you're planning to just leave the situation without even telling somebody that you're leaving um there is something you know that you don't want to be a paw of and and you don't even care about announcing to be honest it, it looks like you're very focused on yourself you're healing your heart and there's a wish fulfillment around the corner for you okay but pisces at the same time i do feel like you you've, you you've kept that door maybe slightly open um but I don't think that your response to the situation is the same as it used to be. Emotionally, I feel like you're withdrawing. And it's, it, it just looks like Pisces. You know that situation when you're packing your bags and leaving without really notifying. That, that kind of an energy. Um, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Pisces. Whoever you're connecting with. Um... Pisces, I feel like you you had a lot of love for this person. And I said had because 
I feel like there's a certain situation in which you feel like you were taken advantage of. Um, and with that Six of Cups energy, it does look like... Um, there's that energy of... somebody missing you somebody missing you and this is definitely the person who has been a sneak or and this is the person who has definitely uh maybe you've had issues with this person uh not being honest um to me it does look like there's a past person wanting to be with you because it is coming up in your environment pisces um your energy towards it looks like yes there was love I had so much love for this person, but I think some of you just have been put off by this person, okay? Uh, it's that energy of, yes, I had love, but it's like you saying goodbye to the emotions that you had for this person kind of an energy. Emotionally withdrawing, maybe not completely because, again, it's hard because you're in love, but still, I think you're emotionally withdrawing. Some of you are focusing on new beginnings in your life. In When you look back at a situation, Pisces, you look back at it being like there's drama, there's resistance, and there's no point of me, you know, fixing the situation anymore kind of an energy. In the outcome, you're getting the world. Let me see. The strength and the eight of pentacles exactly pisces so it does look like you are putting an end to a cycle and i feel like the situation with this person has really tested your patience uh but again i feel like that coat uh what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is coming in you know in my mind for this one because i feel like there's a certain situation that has almost like you know somebody has really really broken your heart but Again, I don't see you dwelling in that energy. I see you coming out of that energy. I actually see you putting an end to a tough cycle and, you know, very much being in that energy where, you know, I'm so looking forward to what the universe has for me. You know, what is to come? Let's see. You know, I'm so open to receive kind of an energy. For a lot of you, I see you being very focused on your money, your, your finances, your job, your things like that, trying to expand working on your stability, you know, maybe trying to buy a house, something you're doing, you know, not really announcing, but just working on yourself. Emotions-wise, I actually do think Pisces, um, actually, we do come to this point after we've been hurt. So it does look like somebody has hurt you, somebody you've had memories with has hurt you. And when you look back, you kind of don't see anything coming out of it. Um, you just see resistance in the energy, nothing else. Um, so, yeah. With the strength card being here, I feel like you're definitely holding on um, to your inner strength. You're definitely um, trying to be stronger. I do feel like this situation has definitely made you stronger, Pisces. A lot that you have um, discovered about yourself. Maybe, you know, in the past, maybe you didn't really imagine yourself um like this but it's it's very much that energy that pisces where you're so capable of achieving things you're so capable of coming out of things uh if they're not serving you anymore and it's that you know it's that it's that uh, understanding that i see in this reading that if something is not working for me i have to put this to an end um let's see with the nine of cups so Pisces, I actually see a lot of uh, emotional fulfillment here that you could be working towards. There could be something new uh, that you're um, wanting to do possibly with your money. Maybe you want to start a business. There is a new passion that you want to pursue. Um, to me, it looks like there is a money-related decision that is that has been haunting you actually. As in, you're not really able to decide what to choose. Uh, could be two options that you have to choose from. And it's looking financial situation. Could be anything though. Uh, but this is very much financial. This is looking like this is business related, money related. You're trying to take back control of your finances and trying to find a way towards your stability, I think. Okay. 
um but there could still be some confusion okay i don't know what that is should i buy that house should i buy that car should i go traveling or not should i do this right now should i do that right now that kind of an energy something related to where you have to spend money so with the nine of cups the hierophant and the page of wands uh pisces a lot of emotional fulfillment um within yourself okay so it almost looks like you know when you're isolating yourself you don't it almost looks like i have myself i i really don't know if this person is going to show up for me or not regardless i'm here working on myself and i've got things to do there's a certain situation you're definitely you've withdrawn from the situation despite the fact that you still might feel a little bit emotionally attached because of the memories but you just feel like it's useless to work on this it looks like something some sort of a truth has come out about somebody and Pisces is that energy of you just being tired and leaving you know you just it almost looks like you don't even tell the other person uh where they can improve because you feel like there's no room for improvement honestly you're you're just a tired and putting a cycle to an end and opening yourself up to new opportunities and walking through new doors definitely um believing in yourself you're definitely doing what you believe in i don't think this is a time period where people can tell you what you need to be doing i think you're very focused on your own thing um and you're very very focused on what is it that you need to be doing kind of an energy okay let's see what is that page of wands and the star card i feel like there's some wish fulfillment happening here for you pisces we have the fool so taking that leap of faith towards a new beginning um happily single or at least trying to adjust to that energy pisces three of cups and then the high priestess there you are so pisces i feel like a lot of you just want to have a good time with your friends your family you know you just want to be happy um a lot of you are you know trying you, you're dealing with something within yourself definitely but it's not like you're seeking external validation you are pretty much healing yourself healing your heart it takes patience it takes time and i feel like you're definitely um giving yourself that time pisces um you just want to be happy you just want to be happy because in the past you might have uh put your happiness last and somebody else is first and i feel like there's a lot of that energy where you just want to be yourself and you just want to go do you um maybe because in a situation you didn't listen to yourself enough it it's like finally look at that ace of pentacles it's like finally believing that there's much better out there for you because sometimes i feel like you were stuck in in this situation pisces i think you were stuck where you always expected you expected for this person to act right you expected for this person to do right just the way you were but i feel like they've disappointed you over and over again and now it's come to the to that point where you just don't even want to indulge in this kind of an energy okay um with the ace of pentacles being here i do feel like there's a potential for new beginning here could be a new work related opportunity that comes your way yeah with the death and the empress I feel like Pisces you really do cherish the moments that you've spent with this person but you cannot just sit there and be in this relationship as much as it feels good it, good it's one of the is one of that relationship um you know one of those relationships where it feels so good to be with the person but for some reason it's toxic mm -hmm. and I feel like you've recognized that Pisces Give me one more card for Pisces We have the Seven of Cups. A lot going on in your mind, Pisces. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups as well. It's it's almost like that energy. Where do I go from here? I've decided to let go, but where do I go from here? Trying to figure out a way for yourself out of the mess. But at times, you I still see you being an being an overthinker. But it's okay. I think you're making your way out of a difficult situation. Um. Yeah. Check out the link in the description box Pisces is going to take you to the extended and in the extended we will clarify more for your person how are they thinking feeling about you their next moves towards you 
outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes, um, as well as um, other, you know, messages from the universe for you. And what is the energy that is coming up for you in general? So a lot in there, a lot in that reading. Do check it out. It is going to be linked below. We have, it is time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Let me say the signs that are here. The signs that are here are um, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo. Who else? Cancer is here too. It's time to release negativity. It is time to release those built up emotions, okay? Uh, your commitment is being tested. I do feel like Pisces, you kind of, it, it's a situation where you put up with a lot. A lot then, a lot, I mean, what do I, you've put up with a situation where you didn't have to put up with it, but you did. Okay, that's what I mean. And now it's time to release because you you really don't have to put up with it. I feel like it's been a, huge hindrance um, in your happiness, okay? Towards your happiness. I feel like some of you really want to be in a relationship and you haven't got time for flings anymore. <sighs> Conclusions are within reach. A time to give rather than take. I do feel like some of you need to give yourself a win-win outcome is forecast. Surrender to the divine. I do feel like Pisces, the divine has a plan for you. Um, there's a lot of self-love that you need to give yourself right now. And whatever you're seeking, I feel like there's a conclusion or clarity is within reach, okay? And of course, then we have a win-win outcome is forecast. I see you achieving balance. I see you feeling good again. Um again with this reading the main the main goal is to come out of a situation feeling good i did see separation i see what the romance angel oracles are saying deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so pisces you definitely feel like this person was not honest with you and i feel like they were not they were definitely being a sneak um, which is why you consider this to be a waste of time. But I feel like there, there are definitely new beginnings coming your way uh, with time. Wedding. There could be wedding involved. Somebody was married or you want to get married. Um, I don't know. Wedding could be involved in some way, shape or form. What is this wedding card, please? Let's see. Very soon. Okay, you might meet the one you, you're going to get married to, uh, Pisces, okay? in the time to come uh, because I do feel like in the past it almost looks like the universe took you through some challenging times to prepare you for something better here relationship wise but you just have to decide okay it's that new beginning that you really want or putting up with the past I feel like you're not really going to put up with the past if you ask me making the effort Somebody's going to be making the effort towards you. Somebody is going to be, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of love coming in your way. Express your love. I see you being a little bit shy and a little bit like held back from being expressive yourself. But there could be somebody you might meet uh, in your friend's circle or I don't know, something might start off as a friendship. But I see you being a little bit closed off due to the past um, person who has given you trust issues. But it does look like there is love coming your way. Uh, it's a time for healing though, you know? So that's about it. Those were the energies that popped out for Pisces. I hope that this uh, helped you. And check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves? What are the coming up energies for you? um advice from the universe all that good stuff so do check it out it is going to be linked below take care and bye-bye